Habari, it's Akachan no Tatsumaki. And here's another social vid for everyone on what I think about the N word. Being African American, I already I'm already aware of what this of what the N word is and what it represents, or what I like to think it represents in certain cases. Okay. <clears throat> In terms of censorship, the N word, the N word is originally spelled with an E R at the end, but later on with slang, it was later had it later transitioned to having an A at the end. It was a racial slur. E R was a racial slur derived by those of European or Caucasian descent against African African slaves and later African American or anyone of Afro descent. It was used as a means of control and means of humiliation. And later on, as time progressed, it eventually became a slang, the ending with an A slang became a slang amongst in the black community, usually referring as a friend or as a rival or anyone of that of that of that concept. Uh, and also with A ending the N word ending with A that's commonly used amongst white uh, against black people in the black community, most of them usually usually have a restriction of those on outside of outside uh, ethics saying uh, referring that word to them or anyone else because they feel like it's racist yet in all honesty I believe I believe that's cutting your nose by your face and don't that and no one don't click down. Oh, he's self racist. He's a black guy who hates upper black guy. He's an uncle ruckus. No, I'm afraid you're wrong. No, what I am though is blunt, and this is what I believe. That's why it's called uh, a rant. That's why this is called a rant. I believe that that's cutting your nose by your face. Because you have a tendency of declaring anyone else racist, of saying the N-word, yet you're still using a slang referred as an insult against you, referring it rather to yourself or anyone with the same face as yours. And, tend to, and, and honestly... It hasn't stopped. It hasn't begun or stopped with the N word. It also later be, be it also later just transitioned to you know J the J word. I'm not going to say the J word, and also savage. All of those were as well as insults European or Caucasian descent people have used against us. Uh. All I'm just saying is, uh, all, all, I'm, I'm mostly saying, sure, it, it may be racist, or you may declare it racist that an outside ethic calls you this, yet don't forget that it is you who are, it is you who are using these old insultive racial slangs to refer yourself and other people. So don't really, so, so yeah, sure. White short, so white people or that racist group, not white people in particular, or that racist group is using it to refer you as. Yet you're yet you got to remember you're kind of allowing. In certain cases, you're allowing yourself to be called this. I mean, and I'm not saying that everyone should say it like it's a good word because it's not a good word. It's a racial slur. All I'm just saying is. When you put yourself in a position of where, of where you're surrounded by those 
who are different, who also say this word, then don't, then don't be surprised when such a word rolls out of someone else's mouth because you put yourself in this position where other people refer you as such. And especially as time goes by, you start slowly adapting and, and, and considering yourself other racial slurs like savage and the J word or the S word. You kind of got to remember that it's a double-edged sword. Yeah, you're referring yourself as you're referring as yourself with these insults, and therefore no one else should say it because it's racist. Yet you're still kind of referring to yourself and to someone with the same face as yours with this same word. So, yeah, double-edged sword. As I said, more or less, I just had to get some out of my out of out of my uh, my chest, some off my chest. And I know I'm going to get a lot of hate for this. Some people may unsubscribe. Some people may unlike. Some people may call me out. Some people may call me racist. But all I'm just saying is you got to really look at the big picture. And if you're going to let a word control you, then you're never going to move on. If you let a small mere word control you. In fact, they also use that word to control you. And if you react every time or catch or, or spaz out because of, of because of one word that was used to control you, that just shows example of how in con how under control you are to such said um, outside ethic. That's all I'm just saying. Like and subscribe or don't or unsubscribe or whoever whoever did or has or not. You know, I'm just saying. I just had to get some off my chest. That's all. I'm going to get a lot of spite for this because I am African American. And I have literally just made a video on what I think about the N-word. So I'm going to get spite for this. Be looked down at. I'm going to be so-and-so, uh, et cetera, for it. And all, I'm just, and, and all I'm really just doing is just getting something off my chest. And I really do hope people don't take this to full defense or take it to negative heart. Or some people with, you know, common sense sees the big picture, the silver lining in this video. That would be graceful. Hmm. Quahiri.